Now to Kenosha, Wisconsin, where jurors in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial have reached a verdict. The 12 person jury finding him not guilty on all five counts after shooting three people, killing two and wounding the other during protests over the police shooting of Jacob Blake last year. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest from Kenosha. We the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. On day four of deliberations, seven women and five men finding 18 year old Kyle Rittenhouse not guilty on all five counts. Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? Rittenhouse visibly shaken and in tears as the decision came in, hugging one of his defense attorneys. We're very happy with the verdict. We're happy that the jury took the time, put in an incredible amount of effort. To say that we were relieved would be a gross misunderstatement. Demonstrators outside the courthouse as the news broke. We're not satisfied. And not that civil rights or social justice rested on this conviction. But these jurors saw a different America than we see every day, than we saw in the evidence. The teenager was 17 years old last August when he shot three people, killing two of them during protests over the police shooting of Jacob Blake. Rittenhouse claimed he acted in self-defense, but prosecutors said he had intent to kill, painting him as an active shooter who provoked the crowd. The prosecution had to disprove self-defense. If you're a juror on this case, and you've looked at the videos, and you say to yourself, you know, I don't really think that this is self-defense, but it's close. That's a not guilty verdict. Lead prosecutor Thomas Binger speaking out after the verdict, saying the jury which represented our community in this trial has spoken. And outside the courthouse here, law enforcement is on standby to deal with any potential fallout from this not guilty verdict, but so far things have been peaceful. Rena Roy, ABC News, Kenosha, Wisconsin.